Hi, Mark Warnke, uh, packoats.com. They call me the goat guy. Hey, we're gonna do a follow-up video. If you remember this guy, this is the guy that we put the California Bander on exactly 14 days ago. Now, we let it go just a little bit longer than I normally do. I do it at about 10 to 14 days, so it's on the, on the tail end of it. But we're gonna go ahead and cut the actual scrotum off that's all dried up and hard like a raisin right now. And again, I usually don't wait this long just because it gets so hard that it's harder to get through. I often ask, can you just let them fall off? Yes, absolutely. I just always worry about necrotic tissue, rotting tissue being next to live tissue and the possibility of that getting in and creating a problem, which, which does happen. Um, so this is kind of the most safe, but as well, um, it's also more difficult. It's easier just to let it fall off. And I don't want to like get your alarm bells up that you have to cut it off. I just do because I work with goats a lot. I'm familiar with the process. It's not difficult. And with familiarity, you know, you can become more accurate. Um, people asked a couple of questions that I'm gonna add, answer. One was, how old can you band a goat this way? Literally almost any age. People want to argue that castration is more ethical because of the pain that they're in after being banded. I have never seen that to be true. In fact, I've seen goats with big open wounds and flies and all kinds of stuff with castration by the vet that I just, I, I, I cannot see the thinking to think that that's more ethical. And Berdizo, holy mackerel, when they get big, those cords get so difficult to pinch that what ends up happening is you pinch over and over and over again because the cord keeps sliding out the side of that tool and that whole process is just like gnarly. So by far, call a California bander or banding is my preference. People will disagree and I'm gonna let them. That's my preference and my suggestion. And if you're brave enough and all that good stuff, I do suggest you cut them off. And so we're gonna take him through that process. I also mentioned banamine, pour on banamine. It's an injection or you can pour it on that's a vet um, prescription to be able to get banamine and the pour on is some new technology that makes it really simple just to pour the their amount of weight um, it has a little measurement it fills up and it tells you how much the weight of the goat is and you just pour it over their back and it works awesome um, and then the last question that was asked on the last video is if you get the teat in the band what do you do you just cut it off you cut it off and start over again and you cut it off as fast as you can because again as soon as that goes on you're losing circulation so uh, and you do not want to leave the teat in there because it's got mammary tissue in it and everything just like just like little boy goats and girl goats and all that stuff we kind of have similar parts just less developed all right so we're gonna go ahead and flop him over I'm gonna have Lucas help me this does require a helper because you need somebody holding them down. It's not that this tissue has any feeling to it. It just, they don't want me messing with them. So we're going to go ahead and plop him down. All right, come here, buddy. Hey, it's okay. All right, so you're going to hold him here. Yeah, you're going to hold head. Go ahead and pull that leg up so he can't get there. All right, so I'm going to get in here. And you might want to get on a different angle so we can see he just doesn't like being held down none of this hurts all right oh here we are all right clippers um you're probably going to need to lean on him so i'm looking at where the rubber band is rubber bands right there i'm going to go just right against the edge the bottom edge of the rubber band He is going to kick me if I don't get that out of the way. Mm. He doesn't, this doesn't hurt him at all. He's just doesn't want to be held down. And by the way, I, I can smell 
the rot of this. And that's why I like to get it off. Because it is literally rotting tissue. Boom, there it is. So you can see everything's dead, but that's still like wet, rotting tissue in there. Now he just has a little teeny stump. That band will fall off. It's still attached. We're going to leave it there. You could actually take it above, but I don't like to do that. I just like to leave it just like that. Now this is off. It can't get caught in anything, and he's good. So there it is. So really, go ahead and let him up. So really, you can see he doesn't react at all to the clipping. And you can see that I just take little pieces at a time. So it's not that he's reacting to there's no pain associated down there. He just doesn't like being held down. So let's go ahead and do another one just real quick so you have to see a sec second example of that. So come here, Bubba. I'm here. Yep, you're up for you're up to plate next. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this is just as hard. Okay, come here, Bubba. And we're just gonna go in and do this little methodical clip again. He just doesn't like being messed with. It's okay, buddy. There we go. It's off. You can see, nice little clean. And again, I can smell the rottingness of this. So that'll let that little post dry out and begin to heal. And then that's what it is instead of this big thing that can be ripped off and caught on things and all that sort of stuff. So no, no blood life left. Everything's off. No pain. We can see we're all good everywhere and he's ready to go. So now we'll just let him back up. Oh boy. So now we got our two little tea bags and he's done. So that's how it's done, pretty simple. You can see it's a non-painful thing for them. They just fight being held down. And again, using hoof trimmers, you can get these hoof trimmers, which is what I recommend, by the way, on the site as well, both for your goat's hooves and for doing this, um, kind of a dual purpose little guy, nice and sharp and simple. So hey, you guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please just click a like. Um, please subscribe and leave us a comment. Um, we really need to know what your thoughts are so we can build better and stronger, faster videos for you. And if you would be so kind, share this channel with your friends and family and other people in the goat world. And we believe we have a really valuable asset here. So make sure you subscribe, click like, leave a comment and share it with the people you know.